When we try to talk about spirituality, things can sometimes get lost in an excess of words. Despite the degree of hesitation, I will nonetheless try to communicate some ideas that have great value for me. The Latin word spiritus means spirit, life force. An experience of the spirit is an event that's difficult to explain, but which nevertheless intrigues you and draws you into exploring that experience. In my experience, the spirit can be felt when something moves unexpectedly, a moment in which the life force becomes tangible. It feels like being in touch with pure qualities, such as beauty, love, creativity, hope, joy, despite many problems. Belief systems and religions can serve as maps to help you find your way in an unfamiliar mystical landscape. They provide a platform of universal wisdom that enables you to relate to three components. Firstly, the greater entity in which your personal identity is absorbed, your relationship with the ultimate, your faith. Secondly, existential challenges manifested through questions related to the meaning of life, suffering, death and the unknown. And finally, attitudes based on your values, the foundations of your morality. Since we live in an increasingly multicultural world, we find ourselves introduced to more and more representations of the divine. This can be confusing. Each religion and each belief system has its own language to help you understand the meaning of life on earth. But ultimately, you must experience for yourself which words and deeds find the way to your heart. A theory or teaching must resonate with your inner experience so that it can actually inspire you and endow you with vitality. As counselors, we also find ourselves confronted with our own existential vulnerability and sometimes a great deal of misery. We can become empty and burned out if we cannot tap into our own resources of nourishment. To keep up our spirit, we must connect to our sources, which are always so much more than our own limited selves.